तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदावनम मनोहर वाछाकल्पतरुश के पासीदुवच पति पावने भवैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंग हिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव तो वै पिया वै केशव कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुण चैव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीरे संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीयपात्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम वेत्ताहम भेत्ताहम पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटा विस्फुर्जी तमी गपूषुदर्श पूर्णाग रसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपा कर श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विश्वाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरा सुरैरवंद दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी भावे न सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापार वाराणसी पुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजस् भक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे ख्यातिर अव्यार्थ कालोत्तम विरक्तिर मानसोन्नता आशाबंध समुत्कंठ नाम गाने सदा रुचि 
आसक्तिस्तद गुणाक्षणे प्रीतिस्तद वसुधिस्थले इवादय अनुभा सूर्याति भावाकुरे जन ख्यार अभ्यर्थ कालत्म विरक्तिर्मानसुन्नता आशाबंध समत्कनाम गाने सदा रुचि आसक्तिस्तद गुणाक्षणे प्रीतिस्तद वसुधिस्थले इवादय अनुभा सूर्याति भावाकुरे जन गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा वॉन्टेड टू इन्स्टॉल गौरी मठ इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ एवरी बॉडी शारदिंदु राय राजी शारदिंदु राय ही वॉन्टेड टू पुट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ प्रभुपा यू ऑलरेडी मेक ओ मोर देन सिक्सटी मार्च सिक्सटी फोर सो वाट प्रॉब्लम वेरी फास्ट पीच दिस इज नॉट टीचिंग Actually, I wanted to install Gauriya Math inside the heart of everybody. This is nothing teaching. I wanted to install Gauriya Math inside the heart of everybody. Sixty-four Math. What do you mean? I wanted to get sixty-four such personalities. Instead of sixty-four Math, if I could get. Sixty-four such personalities. They are living Gauriya Math. They can go anywhere, and Gauriya Math appear there. I wanted to make. You are speaking about fifty Math, sixty Math, sixty-four Math. I wanted to get living Gauriya Math. They can appear when they can go anywhere. Gauriya Math can appear. A prakita. Like Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, when go to when he was sent to Dhaka, Dhaka, no preaching facility, nothing, open field there, he is going to sit and going to recite Chaitanya Bhagavatam. Thousands of people coming, and then politics started. Big problem. This way. Whenever a real Gauriya devotee, Gauriya Math devotee going anywhere, Gauriya Math appears there together with Gauranga Mahaprabhu. This is the system. So, Pohpat never wanted to waste even a fraction of second, even fraction of second. All his life, all the time doing some or other kind of seva, writing this that. On the day, who? Oh. One day in Assam, due to some reason, Sila Bhakti Doi to Madhu Gusimal. That time, Brahmachari, high grade Brahmachari. He wanted to ask to Prabhupad. Actually, all his, all of his God brother requesting. He just request Prabhupad. Papa is speaking one like Hari Nam. We must do, but we cannot do. Where is our time? We are doing seva whole days. So you please request Papa. Bad. One like Hari Nam. When I we can do? We are doing all seva all day and night. Then by the request of God brothers, Madhu Gusey Maharaj, I mean High Guru Brahmacharya, approaching Papa, paying. I want to. He want to speak something. Papa is real. What do you mean to say? Uh, actually, we have one request. One lakh Hari Nam we cannot do. Actually, when we can do, we are actually all seva all the time. Then Papa looking at him. What you are doing at the night time? What you are doing at the night time? You can complete your Hari Nam, then you can sleep. No compromise. Sadguru can never make any compromise. Sadguru is a symptom of Sadguru. Sadguru can never make any compromise with Maya illusion. It is the question of life and death. It is the question of life and death. Your body can go away again. You can get body. So, Simon Mahaprabhu also wanted to. 
show this path. Niyamita smarane no kala. Nam nam akari bahuda. Nijo sarva sakti stattar pita. Niyamita smarane no kala. Eta adhishi tava kipa bhagavan mamapi. Duddhaivam idisham mihajani nanu raga. Bhakti Mishra could translating and speaking. And in Chaitanya Chaitanya also, it is written, Mahaprabhu speaking. All the time you will have to do Krishna Bhajan. In Krishna Bhajan, there is no gapping. In Krishna Bhajan, you cannot find any gapping. That is the I mean. Even in sleeping, when you are sleeping, there also Krishna Bhajan can go on. That is the life of Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, I mean all pure Vaishnavas. They are all Namacharya. I yesterday I told, without being Namacharya, nobody can act as Acharya. They must become Namacharya first. Then they can, by the power of Harinam, they can preach. They can speak Harikatha, everything. Otherwise, no question. The sloka I started with, written by Rupa Goswami Path, In, 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 the, in the whole Leela of, in the whole Leela of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, in the whole Leela of Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad, Raghunatha Goswami Pad, all this sloka was found in applied form. Chantir abhyartha kalattam viraktir manu sunnata asavandha samutkandha namagane sadaruchi asaktistat gunakshane pritistat basutistali ittadai anubhavaha Suryate bhavan kureyane. Those who are developing bhava unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan, in their life you can find they are not going to waste even a fraction of a second. Kantir abhartha. Abhartha kalatam means they are not going to waste even, even one minute, one second, one minute, not going. Useless. Kantimani, if something uh, going to agitate your mind. Some incident happened. You have been agitated, but they can never. Can't they? Whatever. Okay, let them go. There is sufficient reason that you can become excited. But there is no reason. Kantir or Bhartha Kalatam and Kantimani, you can oh, let it down. They are going, never going to mind. Kantira Bhartha Kalatam Virakti Ramana Sunnata. Virakti Kantir Abhartha Kanti Abhartha Kalatam without wasting even a fraction of a second. Now it is impossible. But when you can reach up to that level, even fraction of a second, you cannot leave bhajan. Practically you can feel. Now philosophically you are hearing. But practically you can feel it is not possible for you to leave bhajan for a fraction of a second. Now you are not getting that kind of test. Someday you can get. Birokti means all material talkings, material subject matter, sense enjoyment, useless. You cannot like. Birokti. You don't like to hear anything about material. Natural talking or material sense, enjoyment, nothing. Pirakti Ramana Sunnata. I never want any la, puja, patishta, anything. Not barvali. If you look into their life, you can see easily they can get. Easily they can arrange la, puja, patishta, everything. But they are not. Only their target is to surface, is to give complete satisfaction to Bhagavan. Nothing else. They like to satisfy Bhagavan. And preaching also, forcefully, like a boxer, like a stage show, they are not doing. Preaching by the desire of Nityananda, no, we can try. Appropriate way, manage through Sautopanta. Maybe number of people we cannot get, but you can get quality. That is the instruction by Prabhupada. Before sending his messenger to foreign country, 
before sending his messenger to European country, America, England. This was the Popat Popa gave one by nice Harikatha before sending them. They are also Popat also told them. This way. So Birokti, Manasunnata, they don't want any honor and position. Prabhupada already told before sending. Maybe they are technically advanced, financially they are sound that country. Maybe they can reject you, make it insult you. But don't feel anything for that. Maybe they can reject you. But if you break down, if your heart, oh, they reject me. Not that. Because you are not going to do anything for you. You are going to do everything for Bhagavan. So you have no self-interest. So whatever treatment they are giving to you, you accept it gladly. Or if they, if he, if they are going to give you big honor, big honor, position, money, position, everything, still don't feel anything. Don't get excited. Popa wanted to mean that you see ocean, you have seen ocean. If you are going to add 100 liters of water in the ocean, can you expect any increment of the water level can increase? Ocean. So Popa wanted to say you will have to maintain that kind of heart, like ocean, Mani, Gambhir, Prashanto. So if you are going to add thousand liters of water in the ocean or any amount of water, or if you like to take away water from the ocean, but still the level is more the same. Similarly, if going to give you big honor, position, you are great, giving garland. Feel still. Vaishnava not feeling it. All is humble. You see the picture of Guru Pat Padma when hundred year complete, hundred year, you know, uh, anniversary and uh, hundred years, Abhirbhaptiti, and the whole world coming to worship him. All big panel, big. When, when he was taken in the stage, very old age, he is feeling shy. Why they are worshipping me? Why they are worshipping what I have done? I have done nothing. Very sigh. Never feel any. False ego. Even after big achievement in seva, still a devotee can, a real devotee, genuine Guru Seva can never feel anything. So Prabhupada wanted to say, Suppose they are going to give garland, money, everything on up. Still, you should not feel it is for you. It is for Nithyananda. So it cannot touch you. So, khantir abhyartha kalatam viraktir mana sunnata. Mana sunnata mane, you don't want any honor, position, nothing. Then and only then you have the right to speak about the absolute. I mean, you can feel power to speak. You have the right mean, you can feel power to speak the absolute, not before that. Prabhupada putting this condition. Asavandho. Asavandho samutkan. Always keeping hope. Bhagavan today or tomorrow. Surely can best to keep on me. Asavandho. Asavandho with full hope. Not that hopeless. Where you are hearing all so hard thing, after thing you become hopeless. Ah, so hard is impossible. Not hopeless. You should get more and more power by hearing. Then you are a devotee. You can become a devotee. Not that you can break your hope. Oh, so hard. Impossible for me. Don't break your heart. Because one life you can sacrifice. Infinity life you already waste. Infinity life gone in your life. Why not you give this life? Why you are going to become miser, you know? And I told you, now one day, Uddhavji asking to Krishna, who is 
who is Kripan, who is Kripan, and who is Garib, who is poor, who is Kripan, all Bhagavan giving you. Daridro yastu asantushto kipano tu ajitendriya. Daridro yastu ajitendriya. Daridro yastu asantushto. Who is always dissatisfaction. You can find everybody some sort of dissatisfaction. Not feeling satisfaction. But you look at Guru Vaishnava, all is satisfied. How? What is the what is the mystery in it? You're not thinking. Why they are always happy? How is possible? Sometime happy, sometime sorry, it can be. But they are all the time they are happy. How possible? Impossible to think. You look at each and everybody, somehow they are sorry. Because they have some demand. They are not going to fulfill their demand. They have some desire, demand, anartha. They demand something. But Guru Vaishnava, they have no demand. They have no demand. You believe or not, no demand. If you stop everything, they are okay, no problem. Sukhdev Goswami is speaking Harikatha in front of public, coming without any clothes, speaking Harikatha. After Harikatha, no, okay, no problem, gone. No connection. So, no demand. No demand. If there is no demand inside heart, then you can get enjoyment in Hari Bhajan. I mean, Hari Bhajan can give you satisfaction, complete satisfaction. No other. So, Asabandho with full hope. Full hope. Hopeful. You have to do bhajan, not become hopeless. If you become hopeless, you cannot. Asavando samutkantha. Always there is one where sweet anxiety, sweet anxiety, not like material man. There will be one sweet anxiety. When, 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 when Bhagavan can give the, Bhagavan can uh, take me, accept me. When Bhagavan can accept me. Like Dhuva Maharaj. The only reason for why Dhubha Maharaj was successful, that is the only thing, Dhubha Maharaj is a small boy, small boy, by the instruction of Naraji Maharaj, he started doing whatever astuti and pronounces imagine. But the only thing for why Bhagavan was bound to come to take darshan of his devotee, not to give darshan. For everybody, this is applicable, Bhagavan coming to give darshan. But of Dhu Maharaj, just opposite. Bhagavan came to take darshan of a small devotee. For everybody, in, the, in all scripture, no way you can find that Bhagavan coming, uh, sometime somewhere it is there, but not usually not there. Bhagavan coming to uh, give darshan. But here, just opposite. Bhagavan coming to take darshan of a small, a small devotee, five years boy. That's all. Because why, you know, the only reason. All those commentators speaking, Dhuva Maharaj is a small boy, maturity of bhajanam is not there. Anyway, by the mercy of Gurudev, he started doing Astriti and Pranansas very perfect way, because there was no complicacy, no duplicity inside heart. He could catch the power of Gurudev. That's why. And the only reason, there was anxiety inside, sweet anxiety. When Bhagavan can come? When Bhagavan can come? Uh, maybe coming. When can Bhagavan come? Always anxiety. Bhagavan, Bhagavan must come. This kind of, like Mahaprabhu, we can see now, gradually. Always anxiety. When? Hey, Bhagavan came. Now again Bhagavan gone. He gave darshan and gone. Anxiety. This anxiety, a sweet anxiety. That anxiety cannot make you heart attack. <laughs> this anxiety is sweet anxiety. This anxiety cannot make you, you know, make you heart attack. This anxiety is sweet. And this kind of anxiety must be there inside each, everyone, inside us. Why we are not getting Bhagavan? 
Is there some mistake? This way we have to calculate. Whole life of Mahaprabhu, I mean, we can go and check up. So, asavando samut kantha. Uh, the symptom of devotee is that, the symptom, perfect symptom. Somebody can play drama, but the actual symptom of devotee is that, any time is for them Harikatha. Night time, two o'clock, if you call Maharaj, get up and speak Harikatha. Is a start. They can start Harikatha. Night time, two o'clock, you can test them. And Maharaj, get up, get up, speak Harikatha. They can start Harikatha. This is a symptom. Any time they get enjoyment in Harikatha Kirtan. Namagani Sadaruchi. This is the main symptom. Devotees, they have, uh, you know, some primary and secondary symptom. The main symptom is all the time enthusiastic mood of speaking, Harikatha and hearing Harikatha. Namagani Sadaruchi. And Asakti Stadbunakshani. Always they are feeling attraction to hear all the qualities of Bhagavan. We can see all in applied form in the life of Mahaprabhu. Asakti stat basasi. Asakti stat. Priti stat basasi sthale. Asakti stat gunakshani. Priti, loveful attachment with Dhamma. One devotee can never say, I am fed up with Mayapur. Cannot say. His non devotee can say. Because they can get new, new enjoyment in Mayapur, Navadip. Though there is material people, so what? Why you are going to look them? Why you are so many hostels, this, that, so why you are going to look them? Because in Sastra it is written, still today, Gauranga doing the same Leela in same Navadip, same Nav Mayapur, same Leela. Adhapiyo sei lila karego rai kono kono bhagavan dekhi pare pare. All the time, same Gauranga lila going on. But Bhakti Bhagavan Puri Goswami Maharaj can see, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj can see, Pohupat can see, but we cannot see. Same lila. Bhakti Bhagavan Puri writing in uh, Dham Parikrama Khanda, Parikrama Khanda, that those hotel, restaurant, everything, they are all resting on the net, Maya. Actually, they are not in contact with Navadip Dham, Bhakti Mantra. They cannot get in touch with Navadip. Navadip is transcendental. They are on the net. There is one net, like, you know, net on that net. Bhakti Mantra writing. One document I can speak. Many our, of our Guru Varga, they are watching Leela. My Guru Maharaj, Satya Govinda Maharaj also. All, oh, but I have no time to discuss. Some day and day I can discuss. They can see Krishna Lila, Gaur Lila, all everything they can see. One incident from Jaiva Dharma I can speak. Two young bo young men, uh, maybe twenty years or twenty two, maybe like they are coming from Sinatpur, Sinatpur, this direction. If you go. At the bank of Ganga, there is Sinatpur, one village. From there, they used to come to Raghunath Das Babaji Maharaj in Sivas Angan, that time, long ago. They used to hear Harikatha, Kirtan. Finally, they were initiated by Baba. Baba gave the initiation, Harinam Diksha. And particularly for this reason, that those two, two young men, very sincere, very sincere. They used to ask question, and in question and answer, whole Jaiva Dharma is full of, whole Jaiva Dharma is full of question and answer. Question and question, very nicely. So in this question answer, through question answer, you can find that, that they are asking question, and Baba going to give them answer. One day when they were initiated in a very auspicious day, very nice day, so they wanted to arrange one festival. They wanted to arrange one big festival because Harinam Diksha, they had to arrange one big festival for devotees. 
are all outside useless people not coming. Well, those who are devotees staying here, nice, they are coming to attend the function. They are not going to invite everybody. Nice, nice, you put those doing. In the meantime, when they are sitting for prasadam, prasadam going to be distributed this way. Prasadam. In the meantime, suddenly, Mahaprasade Govinda Namai Brahm Eva. After that, suddenly they discover Nitolila appeared there. They find Malinima, Sachima, they find. Everybody there. You see, what? Aprakito. Suddenly, they cannot see anything else. They say Sachima, Malini, everything, that, everything they watch. It is written in Jaiva Dharma. If you go through, so it is 100% possible. 100% possible. Gaudhisat Bhaji Maharaj, last time he lost his vision power. He cannot see now. Sunnadishti, looking. But always looking, Gauranga Lila, everything. For 35 years, Gaudhisat Bhaji Maharaj was there in Nandagram. Not a matter of joke. So finally, go Jagannath Babaji Maharaj also. After saying in long time, long time, he stayed there. After that, Surya Kundo, where I was there previously. Surya Kundo. The Jagannath Babaji Maharaj, Bhajan Kutir, that Bhajavasi wanted to give to me. Baba, you can stay here, and his deity you can receive. I say, if I stay here, I can stay. But I cannot do any seva. I can do. Harinam and that kind of thing. But this kind of seva is not possible. What Guru Maharaj gave to me, that is not possible. So anyway, they came here. Finally, Jagannath Dadvaji Maharaj also came here. This way, all they could see, Leela, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, all the time, used to do Harinam, closing eyes, used to see all Leela, Aprakiti Leela. This is not story. This is not story. Someday, if it can come true in your life, then you can believe. Otherwise, by hearing this kind of thing. Anyway, yesterday I told Gauranga Mahaprabhu, uh, actually, back from Vrindavan trip. I mean, because otherwise we cannot get any time. Vrindavan gone, Sanatana Sikha was there. I am going to cut short. I already told. Rupa Sikha already seven days in Elihabad. Sanatan Sikha was at the bank of Ganga. Sanatan Sikha was there at the bank of Ganga in Baranasi. And Rupa Sikha was there at the bank of Elihabad. There, all done, everything. I am going to cut short. Mahaprabhu coming back from Srivindavan Darshan to Nilachal. So, I already told Sanatan already, after Mahaprabhu coming back, Sanatan already came. I told Sanatan Gusami developed. Some screen disease, everything I, I wanted to cut short. This way, and I forgot, and I forgot to tell, tell you that in Elihabad, that in Elihabad, there Mahaprabhu and Rupa Goswami Pad was there, and Balla Bhatta, Balla Bhatta, he came, Balla Bhatta, he came to invite Mahaprabhu to his village. That I forgot to speak. If I cannot link this Harikatha this way, otherwise I cannot make any head and tail. So, first of all, I can touch and go back to the Nilachal Rela. So, Balavacharya uh, came to invite Mahaprabhu uh, and Rupa Goswami Pad, Anupam, also going, also going, going to that side of river. They arranged one boat, special boat in which Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami Pad, all the way. And after, after reaching uh, Arail Gram, the village, village house, village house of Balvacharya, Mahaprabhu sitting. In the meantime, Raghupati Upadhyay, one great devotee of Madhavendra Puripad. Great devotee. But he is not in renounced order. Very nice Brahman, and the same time, great devotee. He is coming to meet with Mahaprabhu by the desire of Mahaprabhu. 
After that, after hearing uh, the identity of Madhu, you know, Raghupati Upadhyay, he wanted to know some gist. I mean, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu started putting some question. He wanted to get answer from Raghupati. Raghu, Raghupati Upadhyay. Actually, uh, Krishna doing Leela for 125 years. Throughout 125 years, throughout Mahaprabhu, Krishna done Leela. Krishna, Bhagavan Sri. So, which age factor is more important for us? Then, Raghupati Upadhyay is speaking, Sham Eva Param Rupam. Sham Rup, the adolescent, Kishore, Kishore, Nava Kishore, Natobar. Oh, very nice. Sam Eva Param Rupam. And the age factor? Age factor is Kishore, Kaishore Vyas, adolescent. Sam Eva Param Rupam, Vaya Kaishore Kam Dheyam. And which rasa? Which are, which are Viswa? We can exchange so many rasa with Krishna. Then Raghupati Vada speaking, Je Adya Eva Pararsha. Adya Rasa is prime ras. I mean Madhur ras. Madhur is the topmost. And which Dhamma is Mathura? Bara, Madhupuri Bara. Which Puri? There is so many Puri. So many Puri, no? Jagannath Puri, he is Puri, this is so many Puri there. But Raghupati Buddha Sri, Mathura is the top. Of course, as for Gaudiya Siddhanta, I can say Sunday, someday, the Vai Bhakti Mahatma told Nilachal is the top place of for rasa, bhajan. Why? That is a separate thing. But usually it is. So, in front of Mahaprabhu. Then after that, Mahaprabhu come back. Mahaprabhu coming back from Vrindavan, everything. Raghupati Upadhyay gone. Anyway, so after that, our Ballava Charjo, he wanted to come to Nilachaldam. Nobody inviting him. Because Mahaprabhu is there and Puri Jagannath is there, oh, I can go to Nilachaldam. That's why he came to Nilachaldam to meet with Mahaprabhu. After meeting Mahaprabhu's Gambira Mandir, after watching all big, big, exalted devotees, he was a little bit shocked. He could not expect, he thought he is a sannyasi this much. He could not expect this kind of big, big Advaita Acharya, Nityananda, by watching their body effulgence, their power, like fire coming from their body. A little bit. So one day, Balabhattu came secretly and speaking to Mahaprabhu. I have written the commentary on Bhagavatam. I could not accept, I cannot accept the commentary of Siddha Samipad. I, that's why I reject I, I, re, Siddha Samipad. Siddhar Samipad is the commentator. Siddha Samipad. So, I, I cannot accept the commentary of Siddha Samipad. Is not appropriate. So I wanted to write newcomer. So I bring, you can. Mahaprabhu become very angry. Mahaprabhu become because Trinadabi Sunij Bhav is the main thing of Vaishnavas. Main thing. So after that, what happened? Mahaprabhu, when he want to speak in front of uh, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu say actually, I have no right to hear. You are qualified, you can write this one. And Mahaprabhu become angry and speaking, you are going to reject the commentary of Siddha Sahipad. Mahaprabhu is speaking very heavily. Who is going to reject Siddha Sahipad? He can be treated as a pros. Shami nahi mane tare Who is not? Who is not going to obey Siddha Sahipad? Because his commentary, authentic commentary, by the power of Nishingadev. By the power of Nishingadev, Nishingadev directly appeared. The place is there. The place is there from Baleshwar. 
if you can go to Bhadrak, there one place, hill, and hilltop, I went to the house, I mean, village and house of Siddha Sahipad. I went through it. I saw. So, he went to Bhadrak and up in a hilly place, he was doing bhajan. Dishingadev was bound to appear in, in his bhajan kutir and put his hand on the head of Nishingadev. And so, our Guru Bhargo, uh, Nishingadev appeared inside Bhajan Kuti and put hand, uh, put hand on and blessing. And from then onward, Nishingadev is very, I, I mean, our Siddha Sai Path is very famous. So, our Guru Bhargo and in Shastra we know, Sridharam Vetti Nishinga Prasadat, by the mercy of Nishinga Dev, nothing is impossible for Siddha Saimpath. Siddha Saimpath wrote the commentary of Gita, Bhagavat, so many things. Nobody up to now going against him. But Vallabhata thinking, I am exalted devotee, is useless, as a commentary is not. So Mahaprabhu became very angry because you see the condition, try to. Compare it. So when he wanted to establish himself, I have written commentary. As I, I cannot accept. So now you can think that how much you know adversity there. Finally, what Mahaprabhu is speaking, those who are going to reject, those who are going to reject Siddha Samipad, I can count his name in the list of a pros. Then Siddha Saimpa. After hearing this, Vallabh Acharya, Vallabh Bhatta was very shocked. I am less interested to hear any commentary. Go. So, Vallabh Bhatta is a very honourable person. Mahaprabhu showed, went to his house, honoured him, everything. But Mahaprabhu knowing, inside his heart, there is some false ego. Mahaprabhu knowing, inside his heart some false ego present. Maybe he is doing bhajan, everything. False ego there. To cut that false ego, Mahaprabhu is going to reject. So, <coughs> Balla, Balla Bhatta was in a very you know, negative position. Nobody in the group of Mahaprabhu liked to entertain him because Mahaprabhu rejected. One day, he again coming in front of Mahaprabhu and speaking, I have written, I have written the detailed explanation of Krishna Nam. How much adversity? He is writing, I have written the detailed explanation of Harina, of Krishna Nam. So, I like to recite in front of Mahaprabhu, I am not qualified. I am foolish, I am not qualified, only I know is Bhajandanandan Krishna? That I know, I have no right to hear, I have no qualification to hear, to hear. Mahaprabhu not entertaining him anymore. This way, he wanted to establish himself in front of, in front of everybody. This way, he always wanted to you know, expose or you know, establish himself in front of Advaita Gosai, Nityananda, Sarva Matajajo, but he is not getting any place. Because Mahaprabhu rejected, because Mahaprabhu already rejected him. That's why he is not going to entertain. So now that Vallab Acharya, Vallab Bhatta, going to, going to Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Pandit is a very soft personality. He is going to, he is going to recite all the explanation of Harina. Godadar Pandit fearful because Mahaprabhu, my Prabhu already rejected. I don't like to hear, but I cannot say, I cannot hear. Godadar Pandit now in dilemma. He is very soft personality. He cannot say, I cannot hear because Prabhu already rejected. He cannot speak. He very soft. But also, he don't like to hear. Now he is dilemma. He is praying to Prabhu, Prabhu, I am in dilemma. He is going to recite the explanation of his Harinam written by him, but 
he is forcefully reading in front of me. What to do? I am not ready to hear that he is going to forcefully read it. Then Mahaprabhu one, one, one day, after that giving punishment to, I mean, Ballab Bhatta, then Mahaprabhu one, one day joking with, joking with Gadadhar Pandit. Because Mahaprabhu sitting inside, Mahaprabhu saying, Oh, you are going to entertain him. Hearing Hari, he started crying. You know very well, I never wanted to hear. I never wanted to, uh, wanted to transgress your order, everything. But he forcefully reading me. So what to do? I cannot speak anything to insult him. This way. And finally, Ballab Bhatta thinking day and night. What is the case? Previously, Mahaprabhu wanted to show respect and honor to me. But now what happened? That he wanted to reject me all the time. Finally, he came to the conclusion, Oh, well, this is the reason. Because I want to establish myself in front of him. I want to expose myself in front of Prabhu. And all his, you know, parika. That is the reason. That's why Prabhu liked to ignore me. Finally, he is coming and taking shelter onto a lotus feet up. By now, he is realizing he is not only a sannyasi. He is not a sannyasi. I am going to take shelter onto a lotus feet of Gauranga, prostrate Dandavad. Please excuse me. I have committed offense. I wanted to establish myself in front of you all, that's my offense. So you please excuse me, my adversity. Whatever done, you excuse me. Bala Bhatta. Then Mahaprabhu smiling. Then Mahaprabhu going to expose his actual kripa. Actually, I was thinking, you are great Pandit. And at the same time, Vaishnav. So, how possible? I was thinking, Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking. I, 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 I am thinking how possible the false ego can stay inside you. At the same time, you are Pandit, you are Vaishnav. So, this kind of false ego cannot stay inside you. Impossible. So, now uh, it's okay. Now it's okay. You try to write commentary on Bhagavad under the guidance of Siddha Sahipad. Go. Go. Now you write commentary under the guidance of Siddha Sahipad. Siddha Sahipad that, 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 as the topmost commentator. I mean, uh, that, I mean that it is the first commentary. Very old commentary. So, Siddharam Vetti Nishinga Prasadat, by the mercy of Nishinga Dev, Siddha Sahipad knowing everything. How we can reject the commentary of Siddha Saipad, not all. If you can write under the guidance of Siddha Saipad, then and only then all common people can accept. I mean those devotees can. Otherwise nobody can accept, they can reject you. This way, Mahapu wanted to rectify whom? Brahmananda Bharati, you can remember. Mahapu wanted to rectify Vallabhata, Mahapu wanted to rectify Amog. Mahaprabhu wanted to rectify Sarvabhu Mahadeva. You see the technique. You see the technique, how different way, exclusive way Mahaprabhu changing their heart. Now, I told you everybody coming, Mahaprabhu is there, like ocean, all rivers coming and meeting with. Now, Ramchandra Puri, he is also Guru Varga Mahaprabhu. As per our general conception, he is a Guru Varga of Mahaprabhu. I mean, he is a disciple of Madhavandi Puripath. Come on, he is a disciple of Madhavandi Madhavandi Puripath, you see the condition. When Guru Vaishnava is going to reject somebody, then he can place nowhere in the 14th world. Joshua Prasada, Bhagavad Prasadu. Josho or Prasadat Nagadigutopi. Josho Prasada Bhagavat Prasad. 
just so aprasada, negative. You can get no place in heaven, hell, anywhere. No place. So, Madhavandi Puripad wanted to reject him because he wanted to give advice to his Guru then. Ramchandra Puri wanted to give a. Madhavandi Puri was crying. Madhavandi was crying day and night. I am not going to get the association of Krishna whole day and night. And he, so much adversity, going to speak in front of Guru Dev. Hey, you are Brahma. You are Brahma. Why you are crying? Why you are crying? You realize, try to realize. He is giving advice to his Guru Dev. You are Brahma. You try to realize why you are crying. Those who are foolish, those who are ignorant, they are crying, as per his opinion. But Madhavendra Puri was crying because of separation. Oi Dindyardanad Mathuranad Kadavala Kashi Hidvayam Tadaluka Kataram Daito Brahmati King Karumya. He is crying. Where is Krishna? I can get the association. But Ramchandra Puri is Mayavadi. Sometime after taking Dikya from Sadguru, many such cases, one no, not one. I can show you countless examples. Even after taking Diksha from a Sadguru, big exalted Sadguru, one become Mayavadi. Many such cases. Even after taking Diksha from a Sadguru, very nice. He become Mayavadi, he become fall down. So much says, even by taking shelter on the Lord of Prabhupada, many such cases happen. Many such cases, not one. So, Madhavinda Puripad become upset by hearing this kind of vichar. Hey, you are Brahma, why you are crying? Madhavinda will be very angry. You idiot. I am not going to get Krishna association with Krishna and you are going to give advice me. I am burning inside my heart due to separation from Krishna. And you are going to advise me, go away from me, get lost. Go away, get lost from me. I don't like to see your face anymore. If I see your face, I cannot leave my body properly. You get lost. Go. go. I cannot see your face. If I look your face, then I cannot leave my body properly, get lost. Madhavendra Puripad is going to throw him out, go away. I reject. Don't show your face anymore to me. Okay? Gone? So when Gurudev is going to reject somebody, when Gurudev is going to reject, Sadguru is going to reject somebody, he becomes a street beggar in the way of Hari Bhajan. He cannot do Hari Bhajan. So, committed offense unto a lotus feet of Gurudev. That offense is going to increase gradually. And he was very much interested to come in front of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu never invited him. He is coming and watching the activities of Mahaprabhu. He is coming. He is coming in front of Mahaprabhu and all day and night watching the activities of Mahaprabhu. What Mahaprabhu is doing, how, how much time Mahaprabhu is taking rest, how much prasadam Mahaprabhu is taking, when taking, when he is getting up, all he is going to watch. Follow. This way, he is going to develop offense again. He is very much interested to find fault with Mahaprabhu. Oh, he is, everybody is speaking, he is that, Bhagavan, this, that. Oh, doing this, doing this, doing this. Fault. Very much interested to find fault with Mahaprabhu. So one day what happened? Mahaprabhu sitting and doing bhajan. And Ramchandra Puri coming. Immediately Mahaprabhu. It is the rules. Tenadavi. Oh, Dandavat. But he is going to pass one dirty remark. There is ant. There is ant moving around in this room. The sannyas is so greedy. He must have taken sweet or sweet rice. In this room, night time, secretly. Otherwise, why ant moving so much ant? They say he wanted to insult Maha, Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu not giving answer. Mahaprabhu not saying, Who told you? Not saying. He is speaking all rubbish. 
This sannyasi is very greedy. Very greedy. So, though so much, uh, you know, ants moving around, that's when night time secretly has taken sweet rice or sweet ball or something. Otherwise, why? And come so much. I wanted to insult Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu not speaking anything. Mahaprabhu not speaking anything. Mahaprabhu becomes silent. This way, his offense, this way, his offense going up. This way, his offense gradually going up, up and up. One day, he is speaking, so much prasadam you are taking, how much, how much property you have? How much property you have that you are, you know, all devotees? It is his nature, very bad nature. He can serve, he can serve in front of devotees, he can serve prasadam. As a forceful, he can give. This will take more, take more, take more. After that, when the prasadam is, how much property you have? You are taking so much. Are you? you give forcefully. He is giving, serving. Oh, take more, take more, take more. After that, when the prasadam is, how much prasadam you are taking? Huh? Huh? How much property you have? You are in renounce order. Huh? This way. He is senior. He thinks I am senior person. He thinks I am senior. According to his own estimation, he is going to chide all the world. One day he is going to pass a remark about Siman Mahaprabhu also. This much prasadam you are taking? Sannyasi, how much prasadam? Eh? It is not good. This way you cannot maintain your renunciation. Mahaprabhu not speaking anything. From then onward, from then onward, Mahaprabhu announced that from today onward, I can take, if somebody bringing prasadam, one plate, I can make it four part. I can make it four part. Four. I make it four part. I can take one part out of that, whatever prasadam usually devotees bringing. I can take one part of one, one fourth of this amount. After that, I can take some and keep the rest for Govindo. Because Govindo getting, Haridas Thakur getting, then you see Rima. They are all getting the prasadam residue of Mahaprabhu every day, Haridas. So almost nothing Mahaprabhu taking. Mahaprabhu, after this criticism, Mahaprabhu started almost fasting. And this much prasadam taking this way. Finally, all devotees become, all devotees become very sorry. Why Prabhu you are why Prabhu you are not taking prasadam? How we can take prasadam? If you are not going to take prasadam, how we can take prasadam? This way, they are crying. They are all going to complain against, against Ramchandra Puri. He is the main reason for why this kind of... Then Mahaprabhu speaking, why you are going to blame? Why you are going to blame? Why you are going to blame him? Ramchandra Puri. He is speaking right. He is speaking rightly. One, uh, one who is in, one who is in renounced order, that should take, uh, protect his body by taking some prasad. It's okay. Why you are going to unnecessarily complain him? Finally, aparad increasing, increasing. Ramchandra Puri get lost. He gone to some other place. Then. All, everybody thinking, now it's good. Because otherwise everybody uh, is fearing. Because Mahaprabhu cannot take prasadam. Because devotee is usually inviting, na. Devotee is usually inviting, na. You come and take prasadam. So Mahaprabhu was in uh, some uh, stiffness. He cannot become relaxed. He is criticizing. This way, finally when Ramchandra Puri gone, then everybody feeling free. And they started inviting Mahaprabhu uh, for their prasadam this way. And after that, Ballabhatta, Ballabhatta still there. Ballabhatta still there. Ballabhatta hearing because it was the advice of Mahaprabhu. Very important. You should not forget it. Mahaprabhu wanted to advise finally to Ballabhatta. He wanted to say that 
by the association of pure devotees, by the association of pure devotees, you can understand everything. Otherwise, false ego cannot go. Balla Bhatta could came to understand, he could realize that whatever mantra by the association, by the association of pure devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are staying there in Puri. After getting their association, he was very much interested to take, uh, to do bhajan of Kishore Krishna. Previously, he was initiated by Gopal Mantra, Gopal, Gopal Mantra. I mean, not Kishore Krishna. He used to worship, he used to worship and love Bal Krishna. Bal Krishna was small, so long. But after getting the association, of the Parikar, all the associates of Siman Mahaprabhu, he was very much interested to get Krishna Mantra. Krishna Mantra, adoration. But who, who can give Mantra? Mahaprabhu not giving. He is going to force, you know, our, who, what call? Our Gadadhar Pandit. He had to request, you give me, you give me. You give me, you give me, you give me new mantra, I like. Well, I cannot do. I cannot give. I have my master, Prabhu. I cannot give. Without your permission, I cannot. Balla Bhatta was waiting for a long time, somehow to get the permission. Somehow to get permission. Finally, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, Gadadhar Pandi was in a position to give mantra to Balla Bhatta. But still today, Ballab Sampradaya, Ballab Sampradaya, Ballab Acharya making one separate Sampradaya. Ballab Acharya making one separate Sampradaya, Ballab Sampradaya. They are calling, they are speaking in Pushti Mark. Ballab Acharya already wanted to start one new Sampradaya. That Sampradaya name is, the name of that Sampradaya, the name of, the name of that Sampradaya, the name of the Sampradaya is Ballab Sampradaya. Ballab Sampradaya, Ballab Acharya. But wonder, really, up to now, nobody in Ballab Sampradaya speaking that our Purva previous Acharya, Ballab Bhatto, had some link, has some link with Gauriya Sampradaya. They don't, they, they don't agree. They don't agree. They say, no, it cannot so happen. They say, no, it cannot so happen. But it is fact. Ballabhatta took mantra from Gatadhar Pati, but they are not going to. Still today, they are not. What to speak about them, even they are going to make competition with Gauri Sampradaya. Because our Sanatana Goswami path, in Vrindavan, already discovered the place. In Vrindavan, Gokul. I was there in Gokul, long, fast. First I went, then I stayed in Gokul forest, almost. Anandaguri Gram, village. One house here, one house there, long distance. There I stayed. Gokul. There, Sanatana Goswami already discovered the place of birth of Krishna and the palace of Nanda Baba when he was there in Gokul. Because previously, Nanda Baba or Brajavasi, they were in Gokul. You know, after that there is some problem, they leave that place and come to Nandogram. In between Chhatikara, one place is a Chhatikara. There also they stayed for some time. You don't know. After that, Nandogram. So previously, all Brajavasis, they used to stay there. Sanatana Goswami path, according to the scriptural evidence, Sanatana Goswami path, according to scriptural evidence, because it was the instruction of Mahaprabhu. You can search out Sastra and you can point out which place, what Leela Krishna done. So, and power is there, power given by Mahaprabhu. When power given by Mahaprabhu, who father can stop? A successful to press where the birth of Krishna, the palace of, you know, all Udukal, where Jasodama 
wanted to bind him. That place is there where Putana, his head falling, and where the leg, head, hand, Putana went died. All there, document. But Ballava, Ballava, but Ballava Sampradaya, they are going to make competition with Gauri Sampradaya. They are making, they are going to make, they are going to, they are going to select one new spot. They are going to select one new spot and they are speaking, Ballava Acharya already told, this is the actual birthplace of Krishna. Like those Maya, those uh, Sahaja Babaji's. Sahaja Babaji, they speak, no, it is false. Hey, it is false. This actually. All Ishkawala, they are paid. Any devotee, where is the Abhir? Oh, you come. They are cycling, going to this false place. Oh, no, this Gauriya, no, it's false. They are speaking. This way, in Vrindavan also, actual place of birth, is Gokul Mahavan, but Ballab, Bhatta, Ballavacharya Sampradaya, they are going to make, they are going to make a big building, not now, 200 years back. <coughs> 200 years back, or more than that. They make one big, if you look at that building, this is actually original. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yes. If you look at that building, I mean Mandir, the very restriction, 11 o'clock, morning time, 7 o'clock open, after that close, 11 can open for half an hour, so much restriction, so riches, and people all are going there. Most of the people, they are misinformed, they are going there, they said, this is the birthplace. Like in Mathura also. Like in Mathura, like in Mathura, like in Mathura, it is Gokul. Mathura also Krishna took birth as the son of Vasudev Daivyaki. They are also confusion. What is the arrangement of Maya? There, government somehow going to select that this place is the Abhirva place of Krishna. I mean Gokul is the Nandanandan Krishna. Gokul, he took birth. And here, Vasudev Krishna took birth. And they are going to, you know, make, you know, they are going to, you know, indicate that this is a place. I mean, the, at present, what place they are showing, it is not, it is not at all the birthplace of Krishna. <coughs> As per our Chaitanya Chaitamito, Chaitanya Bhagavad, because because our Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami was there in Vrindavan. There is no such indication. Nobody is speaking. That is the birthplace of Krishna. But government select one place, going to make one temple, and adjacent to that, uh, Muslim, they are going to make one, you know, maskui. Purposely. And now devotees suspecting that the main birthplace is there, but actually not that. Adi Keshav, Adi Keshav, where Mahaprabhu met with Adi Keshav, the place, Adi Keshav, the place where Krishna met with, with Sonoriya Vipro. I already told you, Sonoriya Vipro Mahaprabhu met. That is the Adi Keshav place. And just adjacent to that, that is the original, a spot of Krishna, but nobody knows. Nobody going there. I went there. Nobody knows. That is the actual birthplace of, of Krishna, original, but nobody knows. Due to Maya, they are going there. All oh, thousands of people. Nobody cares. Here. This is the condition. So, this way, Ballabhatta Sampradaya, a very famous Sampradaya at present. But originally, Ballava Charja was initiated by our Gadadhar Pandit. Anyway, they are not going to confess. I don't know. They are, they are going to identify them. They are going to identify themselves as Pushti Mark. Pushti Mark. Anyway, after that, everything gone. So now, Mahaprabhu in Ilachal, normally going here and there. 
day by day. After that, all other devotees from different parts of the world coming. And by the by, Sanatana Goswami path taking permission from Mahaprabhu. Because anyway, they are given the place Mathura, Vrindavan, to do some seva, compilation of Vaishnava Sruti to Sanatan Gosai and to Rupa Gosai, compilation of Rasatattva and to deliver, discover all the places of Lila places of Krishna. All. Already ordered, Mahaprabhu. So, they cannot stay for a long time. So, they are going to take permission from Sanatan, going to take permission from Mahaprabhu after watching Ratsayatta, everything. Now Mahaprabhu going to that place. Going, Sanatan, Sanatan going to Brinda, Mathura is going away. In the meantime, after Sanatan gone, our Rupa Goswami path now coming. Some of them claim the Rupa Sanatan both at a time came. Some confusing factor is also there. But Sanatan came and gone. After the Rupa Goswami again, we can find in Chaitanya Charitam. And some other place, it is confusing message. They say, well, both of them came. But we find no clue. Because Sanatan gone to Vrindavan, eh? and after that coming to Nilachal, and Rupa Goswami wanted to meet with Sanatan, coming this way, they are coming this way. They are following the main track, Main road, main road, and he is following. This way they never went. Follow. This way, after the meeting, it is the evidence. After the after Rup, Rupa Goswami path and Ballab, not Ballabhachar, Anupam. Anupam. Anupam is the brother of Rupa Goswami path. Both of them, when it is the evidence, the historical. Both of them went to the house of Balavacharya, all evidence. After that went to Vrindavan, after that came back to solve the financial problem. So much money, how to distribute to Brahman, Vaishnava, and how to keep some money for their uh, daily you know, life. So, Sanatana Goswami, after reaching there, reaching uh, Nilachal, this all kind of Leela already we know. After that, Sanatan gone and Chaitanya Shurisami did return that, that Rupa Goswami is also coming. Rupa Goswami is coming. When Rupa Goswami is coming, same thing. They don't like to contaminate anything. They think, they are thinking we are contaminated. We cannot go inside Jagannath temple. We cannot go near any devotees because they are pure. We are contaminated. So, Rupa Goswami also uh, uh, took decision to stay with Haridas Thakur. Rupa Goswami also took decision to stay with Haridas Thakur. And uh, Haridas Thakur also loved Rupa Sanatan very much. And Sanatan and Rupa respect Haridas Thakur. Very senior, na? Namacharya. Always respect. They are staying. Somehow they manage their prasadam, everything. And Rupa Goswami Path, when he is coming from Vrindavan, walking, na, that time no car, nothing, only walking. Sixteen, uh, from Vrindavan, if you calculate, from Vrindavan, if you calculate Puri, it is almost uh, 2,000 kilometers, like Bombay distance from Bangla, almost, 1,800 something. So long distance when you are walking down, when going to come this way and after reaching Kotak, Bhavaneshwa, this, that, that time. Then after that, there is one village. There is one village. Shattabhyamapur in Orisha. How this name developed, we don't know. Shattabhyamapur. There, Rupa Goswami took rest in the night time. And they are not only walking, they are walking with all, you know, lip, lip, leaflet, you know, leaflet means uh, plum tree uh, or, uh, you know, what is called, 
uh, one skin, they are writing also. Whenever they are reaching any place, taking prasadam, doing bhajan, writing, even going, even some place, right, this way. So, Rupa Goswami Path was busy to write one book, nice book, about Krishna Leela. He wanted to write one book about Krishna Leela. And he wanted to represent Krishna Leela in one book. One is Braja Leela and one is Krishna Leela. Uh, one is Daruka Lila. Follow. Our Rupa Goswami took decision, I can compile one very nice Lila of Krishna by His mercy. And he wanted to compile Krishna Lila and in which one book he wanted to put you know, both Vrindavan Lila or he wanted to put uh, in the same book that is called uh, Daruka Lila. But there, when he, there night time, when Rupa Goswami had taken a little bit resting, for some small time, very small time, when taking rest, suddenly one, uh, one like Lakshmi, one appeared and giving instruction to Rupa, Rupa, you, you are planning to, you are, you are going to, publish and write one book, na, Krishna Leela. So you are going to mix, you are going to mix both Darika Leela and Krishna Leela. Don't do that. Satyabhyama, Satyabhyama, see coming in dream and giving instruction to Rupa Goswami. Don't do that. You do separately. Then the book will be very good. You write, it is my desire. Satyabhyama giving instruction, and disappear. After Sattva gone, Rupa Goswami get up. What dream I? Oh, maybe, maybe it is. Oh, it is Sattva Bhamapur. What is the reason I don't know? But the name of Sattva Bhama. What link is there? I I don't know. But Sattva Bhama surely coming and giving instruction. Don't write together. You write the you know drama and not a novel well, separately. Very nice. So, then Rupa Goswami took decision to compile two books separately. Two bandana, two mangalacharan, everything, all separately. From then onward, Rupa Goswami. And that two books is very famous. One is Lalit Madhav and Vidagda Madhav. You heard the name? Never heard. Very important book, but not for us. So, Rupa Goswami wrote one book, one is Lalit Madhav, another is Vidagda Madhav. Lalit Madhav, Lalit Madhav and Vidagda Madhav. Vidagda Madhav, Vidagda. Lalit Madhav and Vidagda Madhav. As yes, some meaning, I have, I can have time to explain today. Lalit Madhav and Vidagda Madhav, these two books are very important for those who are Rasik Acharyas. Those are Rochik, Acharya, the big, big Zante devotee for them, but we have no right to discuss anyway. And the rest of the thing I can explain tomorrow uh, after that Rupa Goswami by reaching Jagannath, uh, Jagannath Puri, I mean Nilachal Khetro, going to take shelter on the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur, Harida, both of them, I mean Sonatan and uh, uh, Haridas Thakur or Sonatan. Eh? Or Rupa Goswami Pad, they are enjoying full kipa of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu used to come daily, taking darshan of Haridas Thakur and going to give darshan to Rupa Goswami Pad also. This way, how Rupa Goswami Pad and Mahaprabhu the relationship, how what is Rathayatta special, what slok he wrote, all I can discuss tomorrow. Today, no time actually. Excuse me. Kantir Abhyatta Kalattam. Viraktir mana sunnata, asavandu samatkantha namagani sadaruchi, asuktistat kunakshani, pritistat basudistale, itwadayu unuhavaha, suriyate, bhavan kurejane, vanchakalpadrasikabasan. Patitanang pavanebho, vishnabhyo.